right way to do it. It was like we had to be funnier. We had to be funny and like se- you know sexy, like talk to the chicks, whatever. And then that's when I start rapping and all Andre Legacy got in the mix. All three of us would just do it every, basically every day. And then uh, chicks started coming to the show, a lot of chicks, and it would just be like debauchery. So now I like to tell people, even if they don't dig, even if they don't dig our shit, just come to the show just for the chicks and just for the hot party. And like it seems to be in every state. And a lot of that, I guess, it, you know, like MySpace came out, and that helps a lot to promote. So, you know, just by putting it on, just by putting the dates up there. We go to Boise, Idaho, and it's just like playing at home in Hollywood. Is that good? To add to what he was saying, though, um, it's a good point he says about rapping the girls because. Oh, Mine is LL Cool J, and like, he's actually a good example. Like, not many rappers, like, they really do it to impress other guys. Like, you know, when they're writing, you could see them, like, writing, like, trying to be tough to another dude. And it's like, well, if you're going to do music, what, like, what are you really trying to do? Like, we, we want to meet chicks and have a party. So, therefore, when we, we do want a song, to do to, like, rah, rah. we don't want guys with backpacks at our show looking at us, like, being art critics. Like, we want chicks there, drunk. Tearing off their shirts and you know having new experiences. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> and it's like it makes sense. If the reason there's no chicks at their shows, it's like if I was a chick, I wouldn't want. I'd be scared probably to go yeah. up to have some dude like scream at me. So we rap the girls basically. It's like, no. Well, we're everyone, soft. but yeah. when we write, we're thinking what would the girls want to hear too. You know what I mean? Like it just makes sense. Do with the ladies, and even like I, like without realizing it, like when I'm performing, I'm like focusing in on all the chicks. Like once I played, and there was like almost all dudes, and I had to literally find a few chicks in there that like zero in on, and just put all the energy for them. Because if not, I like felt like weird, like uncomfortable, like looking at all these dudes and like I don't know strutting around and like I don't know felt weird, but. So yeah, that's the deal. Yeah, the ladies, my yeah, ladies. Awesome. Yeah, they they love us. That was good. No, no, it was just the bacon was good. These are wild boar ribs. This is our uh, chicken. Baby Rose burger. Yeah, that's Rosemary's baby. <laughs> Rosemary's chicken. All right. Is there any uh? Any people in the industry that you're trying to work with and go after and do things? Well, I did just I just did a song with Perry Farrell from James Addiction that I have to finish that we're working on together. He did his part, sounds amazing. Uh, I'd like to work with Lucinda Williams, she's a country singer, but um, who? He's been, he's been. I've been working with Too Short lately. Yeah, he's like been, my hero. Hanging out. He's yeah, I kind of been awesome. working with him lately. Himself, he would like. That's he's like, like my hero. Like, just I just want to sound like Too Short. And he's just from like, Oakland, from the Bay. So he's like my hero. Like he's the only rapper that I think is just like. Well, like Mickey not, said it actually perfectly when we first started hanging out. He goes, "Yeah, I remember hearing Too Short," and he was like, "Oh my God, there's someone rapping about getting their, their dick sucked in Cadillac." Like, thank you, finally. Like, <laughs> and we what? always said we always said he was our dad. So, yeah. so he goes, to, oh, yeah, I told like him my dad, and he goes, man, maybe your older brother, I ain't yeah. that old. Yeah, I told We're him, like, I said, no, you're like my father. Like he goes, I'm not that old, maybe your big brother, because he kind of took it as offensive. But, uh, but uh, he's a cool dude, man. We, uh, we've been working, we worked with little John. We just did a We're song like, no, we John. mean you taught us how to talk to the ladies. Yeah, exactly. Like some ugly dude with buck teeth, like with fucked up teeth, just spitting game with chicks, you know? Yeah. And then Slick Rick is like... You know, like as long as you look fly, you could you could snatch like some any chick, like even if she was some dude with a lot of money, as long as you look fresh, you got your fucking swagger down. You know? Is there any uh, any celebrities out there you guys would love to bang? Megan Fox. Dude, Megan Fox jumps right out like a fox in my head. Um, Monica Bellucci. Yeah, Monica Bellucci's thick. I have a feeling, you know, I saw her in person in Rome once, and she wasn't as hot in person, but she was thick. But, like, I think in the morning, she'd have, like, bad breath. Yeah, and Megan Fox, who knows what that is. She's de- she dated, or maybe still is. She, I saw him the other day at Coffee Day. Brian Austin Green, who is was a white dating? rapper. Is she, still, is she still dating him? Yeah, they're still together. Oh, really? Yep. I think they're broken up. 
So he went back home with, you know, and probably told her, yeah, I just ran into, you know, Simon Dirt Nasty at the search. So, like, she knows, I bet she knows about it. She knows we exist, I think. Oh, you're right. She probably did do that. Okay, well, that's a start. So we got we got the groundwork on. Uh, when I was younger, I liked, I liked Kate Moss, but she's kind of old now. And a little skinny for me now. Yeah, the older we got, we realized it's all about the big booty. Like, when we were yeah. younger, we didn't understand, like, about the big butt. But now it's just like, duh, like, yeah. duh. Why like, would you want anything but, like, a shapely, you know, something like that? Why would I want? It's like, yeah, exactly. Why would I want this? Right. When I you could have, have this. this. See? That's the difference. Yeah. This is what mainly we have in Los Angeles. We have a lot of this. Yeah. So they can so they can drape clothes on them. And they can be, like... That's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. There she is. That's the girls at the club in LA. Yeah, that's a one piece. It's called a onesie. I had to break off and do my little fashion thing. Do you guys have a favorite uh, city you like to go to all the time? Is there a place you This is actually Portland right up there because you actually, well, Mickey uh, used to live here and uh, so he kind of has an affinity to this place. But that's like, it's, this town's a special one, but a lot of it's like around the food. Like we like all the southern places because they got good barbecues. Yep. Uh, so Austin's like, always good to us. Austin's yeah. a good music town. Portland. Uh, yeah. Memphis. Um, Memphis. Because uh, it's Memphis. Miami's uh, Miami. Yeah, so we like places that Australia we love so we like places that are like paradise you know like ocean whatever and then a few like this that there's a the fans are just so good here yeah, the well the fans are awesome board. everywhere so yeah. it's really just depending on different things you know yeah, Memphis because of the king um yeah Frisco's always good to us. Frisco's always good. Just the West Coast, pretty much. The whole West Coast is always good. We go, we find out, we go to other, like, weird cities we don't even know existed and, like, find that, like, a whole new little community that, like, rocks. Like, uh, we live, like, near Hollywood, so we play in L.A., and then we learned about, like, Orange County and, like, got big there and played there. But then even just recently, like, a few, like, maybe two months ago, we went to this place called Agora, I never even heard of it, Agora Hills, and it was like Black a whole Hole nother. Sun, remember that video, Black Hole uh -huh. Sun, that was like Agora Hills, really? that's supposed like to be a about whole suburban. Nother, yeah, it was like a whole nother Orange County, a bunch of, you know, a bunch of fans, like, got paid well, and I was like, nice, it's because, because anytime you go play somewhere and it's a success, basically it's like, okay, cool, here's a place I can come back to, yep. uh, and we like to play the smaller shows, so even when it can get bigger, like, for example, like, like Portland, and we, the only problem, the only problem was that it's 21 and over. We might have should have done uh, eight, you know, and all eight. Well, it's turned out to be sold out anyway. But uh, when we could, when we have a choice of doing a bigger place or two nights at a smaller place, we'd rather do two nights at a smaller place yeah. just because it's more fun, more, more intimate, and it's more, more, more personal. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, exactly. So, so that's the deal with that. So you were an MTV VJ host? Yes, I was a VJ back in the day when MTV showed videos. In the Disney. How did you get into that? I uh. I actually you interviewed Tupac. I interviewed Tupac. When it was the last, when it was last interview. I interviewed Tupac before. It's um, in his movie. Yeah, it's in this movie Resurrection. You'll see me interviewing him. Later. Um, basically, I was a fashion model and I was like living in New York and. I got the opportunity to go to the MTV offices and the studios where they were filming, and I met everyone there through a friend, and uh, they hired me with absolutely no journalism experience, no music, no...